Welcome to TK Design. Today I will show you how to baking maps in Blender. That include normal map, cavity map and ambient occlusion map. Ok we will start with the normal map first. Normal map contains all details of the high poly mesh and transfer them to the low poly. That's also the most important map and must have in any project. Now let's press Shift A to add the image texture. I will rename it to normal map. Then click OK. Next let's change to this tab. Change render engine to cycles. In the bake type make sure it's set to normal. Check selected to active. The extrusion you can change from 0.01 to 0.05 is optimal, I will choose 0.05. OK now let's select the high poly mesh. Press Ctrl then select the low poly. Let's click on bake. We wait for the bar loaded. When the normal is baked, you can see the adhere. OK now L will using Shift A to add the normal map. Connect the texture color to normal map color. Then the normal. OK you see the different. Now it's not different from the high poly. I will disconnect the normal to see the different. Now the details is disappeared. I will connect it. The details is appears again. We've done for the normal. Now we can make the details look more realistic by using the cavity map. The cavity map will sharpen the details by highlighting the convex and downplay the concave areas. OK now let's bake cavity map. On the high poly dinosaur, let's search for the geometry node. Next I will add the color ramp. Connect pointless to color ramp and the color ramp to base color. Let's change to the render view. I will hide the low poly dinosaur. You can see the cavity effect. The groove or the corner of the mesh become clearer. I will slide two poles to the center to make it more contrast. Let's disconnect the cavity to see the different. OK now let's bake the cavity map to the low poly dinosaur. I will unhide the low poly mesh. Then press Shift A to add texture image. Let's click on new. I will rename the image to cavity map. Then click OK. Let's choose the high poly dinosaur. Then press Shift and choose the low poly. Change the EV to cycles. And change the bake type to diffuse. I will check only color here. OK, now let's bake it. We wait for the bar is full loaded. The cavity map is baked. You can see the results here. Let's connect the image texture to the base color. I will hide the high poly mesh. Let's zoom it. You can see the cavity map make the dot become more clearer. Let's remove the cavity map to see the different. The details now is less clearly as before. I will connect it again. OK now you see function of the cavity map. We will continue with the ambient occlusion map. The ambient occlusion map is simulates soft global shadows in crevices, corners and areas where light has difficulty reaching. OK, I will change to the high poly mesh. 
Press Shift A and search for Ambient Occlusion. Let's connect it to the base color. I will change to Render. Unlike cavity enhancing crevices and small surface, AO darkening occluded areas, such as the armpit here. I will adding the color ramp. Let's increase the black pole. You can see the armpit become darker. I will reduce the pole. The armpit become lighter. Let's remove the ambient occlusion. You can see all the dark areas are now disappeared. I will connect it back. Okay now, let's baking the it to the low poly mesh. Let's unhide the low poly. Press Shift A to add texture image. I will create an image, the ambient occlusion effect will be saved to it. OK let's choose the high poly mesh. Pressing shift and choose the low poly mesh. Now let's change the bake type to ambient occlusion. Then click on bake. Now we wait for the bar is loading to 100. The baking progress is complete. Let's see the result. I will hide the high poly mesh. Let's connect the ambient occlusion to base color. We see some areas become darken. The eye hole have a black line that is effect of the ambient occlusion map. Let's save the baked image. We have two baked map, the cavity and ambient occlusion. Let's combine it. I will search for mix RGB. Let's connect it to the ambient occlusion. Let's change to multiple. I will connect the cavity map to color 2. We start to see the their effect. I will increase the factor to 1. That mean the cavity is become clearly. Let's add in color ramp. Then connect it to the cavity map. I will increase the black pole. And the white. Let's increase the black a bit. And reduce the white. The cavity is become clearer. Let's connect it back to the mix RGB. And the mix RGB to base color. I will duplicate the mix RGB here with Shift D. Then change the color 1 to green. Let's connect it with the mix RGB above. It automatically connect to the color 1, I will change to the color 2. Now the dinosaur with cavity and ambient occlusion map. That look more realistic than the original. Now we know how to bake maps that will make the model look more realistic. If you have any question, let me know. The video end here and if you find it useful, let's like and subscribe for more video. Thank for your watching.